everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the fantasy novels Essence, I Am Mercy, and thriller novel She's Not Here, and also the creator of AuthorTube Academy. And then this is Mr. Moon, you guys, in a previous video asked for more Mr. Moon, so I'm gonna hold on to him while he still lets me hold him. Uh, but today, we're gonna be talking about why you aren't an inspiring writer. And this is the part where I put the cat down. So this came up a while ago. I believe it was a live stream I was doing or something. And someone asked, like, when did you consider yourself a writer and not an aspiring writer? So, I just want to start by saying there's no such thing as an aspiring writer. If you write, you are a writer. There's no list of credentials you need to have to consider yourself an, a writer. Now you can say that about being an author, like there's some people that like there's a moment in time when they consider themselves an author. Like maybe it's the day you publish your book, you're an author, or the day you finish the first draft, you're an author, or the day you get uh, agent representation, you're an author. But to be a writer, all you have to do is write. You could just write poetry, you could just write a diary, but if you write, you're a writer. I like to help people think of it in a way by comparing other uh, other different trades. So we have, for example, like a, a, an artist. Like if you create art, you're an artist. It doesn't mean you need to sell it professionally, but if you create it, that's what you are. So if you paint, you're a painter. That doesn't mean you're the next Van Gogh or that you sell your art in galleries. It could just mean one day, you know, on the weekends you like to paint and you have these little paintings that you just keep to yourself that no one ever sees. And you're still a painter if that's the case. You do not need to be a professional to be considered a writer. If you write words, if you create stories, if you get words on paper, you are a writer. I wanted to talk about this today because I feel like these labels sometimes limit us. If you consider yourself an aspiring writer, then you consider yourself less than what you are. If you tell yourself you're only an aspiring writer, you're gonna talk yourself down. You're gonna you're gonna write your story and be like, eh, I'm not that good because I'm only an aspiring writer. Or if people ask what one of your hobbies are, you may not consider writing a hobby because you're only an aspiring writer. And that's just crap. If you write, you're a writer. If you have a passion for writing, you are a writer. Maybe you don't consider yourself an author. An author is a whole different ball game. An author is someone who writes books and publishes books and different things like that. There's a whole bunch of different credentials of when people consider themselves an author, but it's so much simpler to consider yourself a writer. If you write, if you craft stories, you are a writer. And I hope out of everything uh, you get out of this today that most of all this is just a pep talk. If you consider yourself an aspiring writer, Stop that right now. Just tell yourself you are a writer and someday you're gonna be an author. Now if you wanna call yourself an aspiring author, I guess that's okay, but I like to stay away from those different types of terms. I like to look in the now. If you are a writer, call yourself a writer. If you're an author, call yourself an author. But I don't like the terms aspiring because aspiring makes it look like you're looking so far forward into the future that you aren't enjoying the journey you're on right now. Myself, I personally never called myself an aspiring author. I always just said I'm a writer and I'm working on publishing my books because that seems more concrete. If you say aspiring author, that could really mean anything. Like what stage are you at right now? Are you writing the book? Are you trying to publish the book? Where are you? But if you say, you know, I'm a writer and I'm drafting my, my first book, yeah, it sounds more concrete. If you say, I'm a writer and I'm working on publishing the book, it sounds more concrete. If you are concrete about who you are, how you want to present yourself, and what your goals are, people take you more seriously. If you just say, I'm an aspiring author, um, people are like, okay, cool, there's another dreamer. Like, 
Aspiring is another word for dreaming. And sometimes people think, you know, um, dreamers have their heads in, on the cloud. But if you are concrete about your goals and you say, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm trying to accomplish, people take you more seriously. And sometimes that is what life is all about. When people take you seriously, you're more able to accomplish your goals. So that is it for today's video. Let me know if this helped you at all, if it was a little bit of a pep talk. If you'd like to stay up to date on all the things I'm doing with my publishing house and marketing services, be sure to subscribe to my author newsletter. When you subscribe, you get a few different free downloads as well as access to my free webinar, which is all about creating your author platform. Uh, links to that will be all down below. Otherwise, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching.